The most beautiful thing that's happening next year is where Jupiter and Saturn come together. It's a conjunction. A conjunction is when two planets occupy the same place in the celestial sphere. And this is called the Grand Conjunction because it happens every 20 years. And it basically talks about the planet of Saturn, planet of karma, restrictions, difficult lessons, <clears throat> coming connected together with Jupiter, which is the planet of expansion, opportunities, doors opening. So we have a mixture of these restrictive and yet expensive energies. For me, it's almost like swimming. You know how uh, we take our stroke, we kind of expand and then we restrict. Uh, even like engines that go up and down, push and pull. Uh, this is the engine of creation. So when Jupiter, which is associated in the tree of life with the sphere of mercy, unconditional love, is coming together with Saturn, which is the sphere of understanding, <coughs> learning, karma, reaction and actions. Um, it's an interesting mix. And we're going to have it at the end of 2020, in December of 2020. But the next year, we're going to have Jupiter and Saturn making this tango dance close, far, until they finally conjunct in the end of 2020 in Aquarius. And that is why, for a lot of people, 2020 is associated with the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Now, as these two planets come together, they come very close, further away, very close, because they retrograde in different cycles. But, like we said, they converge in the end of 2020 throughout 2020 you're gonna feel that expansion restriction wow it's an amazing deal oh my god it just in the last minute disappeared this push and pull is trying to teach us how to work with these two colors these two energies the mercy of understanding and understanding mercy in a sense now what it does in your chart is also very interesting because Jupiter and Saturn are now coming together in a specific house in your chart, an area in your life. Maybe it's even stepping on some planets if you have them in Capricorn and in Aquarius. And what it means basically that whatever area in your life that you have right now, there is a conjunction of these two planets for the first time in your lifetime. So let's say it's happening in your house of relationship. You're going to have this push and pull, this expansion and focus, um, the ability to really master something and to really understand something to the fullest in a certain uh, aspect of your relationship. Maybe you have it in your house of career. So what is interesting is, first of all, to go back 20 years ago, 80, 81, 82, to see what was going around around that last time that Jupiter and Saturn danced together. But what makes this conjunction, this grand conjunction, so beautiful in 2020 is that for the last 200 years or so, all of these conjunctions, except the one in 82, were basically in Earth sign. Even the last one was in Earth. Uh, the, sorry, the last before that was on Earth. So everything was about uh, the body, uh, finance, politics. It was kind of heavy. What's happening now is we're going to have a series of these conjunction in air signs. And air is more about communication, technology, innovation, networking. And this is happening during the year of the metal rat, which is associated with the white rat which for me, metal, technology, innovation, and the year of the rat, or the year of the cat, yes, or the rat, or the year of the, um, there's no other way to say it, it's basically the year of the rat, or the, real, the year of the mice. It is associated with a higher innovation, or technology, innovation, a thinking outside of the box, technology, AI, possibly. So towards the end of the year and throughout 2020, you're going to feel this push and pull and you're going to identify it in a certain aspect of your life. It could be in the house of money, it could be in the house of um, a family, it could be in the house of work and health. So whatever it is, it's going to put a lot of focus on helping you understand, but also experience that expansion. So it's a rare opportunity and it's something pretty positive and we're already starting to feel it right now as we're emerging into 2020.